we decided to check out the Royer 101 mic compared to um, the Royer 121. Uh, Royer 101 is their new microphone uh, that's more affordably priced. It's made for studio applications as well as live applications. The Royer 101 has a different frequency response than say the 121 does. It's actually a little bit flatter than the, uh, the 121 is. Uh, the 121 has a little bit of a boost in, in the upper mid-range frequencies that the 101 doesn't have. The 101 has a little more of some top-end frequencies above 10K that the 121 doesn't have. The 121 also has more of a boost below, say, 50 hertz, whereas the 101 has more of a boost, say, around 100. both sound very good, they're just uh, tuned differently um, and, and probably be great for different applications. The 101, I think, because of its extra sort of top end is nice if you need a brighter sounding guitar track or vocal track or something like that, where the 121 is, gives you your standard track that you would expect to hear from you know, a 121. We did some comparisons of the two side by side, which we can take a listen to. You take two ribbon mics, put them together, and we can blend these two together, either, either one for some sort of stereo image effect, if we're gonna do it that way, um, or also just to blend the tonalities of the two. Um, maybe we want a little more of the top end that we get from this, but overall, we want the sound of the 121. We could, you know, put them next to each other, um, you know, record them both and blend a little bit of uh, this uh, 101 in with the 121 and get a pretty nice effect, um, which we can take a listen to. These are both very necessary mics to have, you know, in your mic closet. Um, you know, the 121 has, you know, obviously been proven, and I think um, in time the 101 will be.